Hello, hello, I'm back. I feel like it has been forever since I've posted over here on Time with Tata, and I miss you guys so much. I just got back from an incredible trip to Mexico. I went and saw Dave Matthews on the water. It was a three-day festival with Dave Matthews and Timmy Reynolds. I am very unfamiliar with Cancun in Mexico and I've never been to an all-inclusive. It was unbelievable. I had so many Palomas. It was like my favorite drink. And then towards the end of the week, I started drinking mojitos in Malibu. Like I wanted like all the coconutty flavor I could get before I left. On my way to Mexico, we stopped in Chicago. We had a weird thing where we had to use a voucher that was from a trip we booked for our 25th anniversary in 2020. We know what happened that year. We kept postponing this flight that we had a voucher for with United and it literally expired on Valentine's Day and our trip to Mexico was February 15th. We called the airline, they're like, listen folks, we have postponed this so many times for you. This is it. If you don't use it on the 14th, you lose your credit. So United had like a hub in Chicago and Denver and my husband said to me, do you want to go to Chicago or Denver? I go, well, let's go to Chicago because guess what's there? Atlas Stationery. So what you're going to see today is everything that I got at Atlas. And you're also going to see a little tour. Brian was so sweet. He was nice enough to come out and chat with me and share with us some of the Atlas exclusives. And I have a couple to show you here, but I will show you my haul at the end. I did get some exciting stuff. I shared a little bit on social media while I was away in Mexico. Let's jump back. We're gonna do a little tour of Atlas and then we'll meet back here and I'll show you everything that I picked up while I was in Chicago. Trains just passed, so it's not so loud, but there it is across the street. We walked here from our hotel, and yeah, we're going in. I'm excited to see the new setup. So I'm inside Atlas and we just grabbed Brian from out back and he's going to show us some of the store exclusives. Hey, Brian. Hello. How's it going? Hey, Lori. <laughs> so yes, I'm just grabbing a couple of the exclusives. So we got the Atlas Iron Ore from Ferris Wheel Press that we will grab. This is a, about a year old. We're coming to the end of that bash that we had. Will they do it again? We aren't this? sure. We're working on it, so okay. maybe something for the end of the year. I'm glad uh, I already have it. Yes, <laughs> it definitely grab it if you don't it's have really it. It's really beautiful. Uh, it's just a fantastic black ink. It's a solid ink that you can, it's just like practical, but it's got, it's different too, yes. which is really nice. Yep. I love so it. So we know people that use it every day, even though it's got the shimmer in it. Uh, but we're working on doing something updated. So maybe something, it might be the same ink. It might have just a little bit uh, different shimmer, different shade. All right, there. that's Hopefully very cool. The soon. name is great. Yeah, so yeah, it took quite a while with uh, for us to work it out with uh, Ferris Wheel Press, working with their designers and coming up with the story. See, so this, this is, is the new narwhal that we have. The oh, exclusive. beautiful. And that is, that is gorgeous. in their Nautilus. Look at the rose, is that collection. rose gold? Yep, rose gold. It's got the, the portholes, which is uh, specific to that collection. So you still get your ink window in there. It's a I feel like color. that's the most unique thing oh, about yeah. their brand. Like, th th would you say this is like their signature pen or their this, flagship? Yes. This was, I would say it's their flagship. This yeah. is their second model that they came out with. Uh, and it's kind of bumped up that price point where they were able to start experimenting with different materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one we got, uh, this material comes from Starry Night Resin. We saw the material on another pen that they had done, mm -hmm. uh, that Starry Night Resins had done, and we fell in love with it. And so we asked Narwhal if they could put it on a pen for us. They said, of course, they got it done within a couple months. Awesome. Um, Super and, popular. Oh yeah. We're almost, yeah, so this will be a one-time batch. Uh, we're getting close to selling out oh on this. It's only been out about a week. Uh, so wow. it'll be that was quick. pretty soon, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so 
Another one, grab. Beautiful, beautiful. Still have available. Okay, we have another ink exclusive here. So why yes. don't we check these out? So first up, this is our newest exclusive ink. Yep. From Robert Oster, we have the Izzy Monster, which was made after uh, collaborating with them uh, to feature an ink for my daughter, oh, my four and a half year old. Oh so we gosh. have a, a purple ink with pink shimmer in it. Uh, we call it the Izzy Monster. We, since she could crawl, we call it her Izzy Monster. <laughs> she was getting into everything, couldn't keep her still. I love uh, it. So we came How up excited with, is she for this? Oh, she loves it. We talk <laughs> about it all the time. Uh, so Aww. she's made my, my son, who's seven, a little jealous. Uh, do we have want, any names for we, future inks? That's what we're trying to figure out. So <laughs> we have to come up with one for Cam. No pressure, Dad. No, no <laughs> pressure. So we'll see. And then I've got a third, uh, an eight-month-old. I'm do? sure she's going to need one, too. Oh, my so, gosh. Well, so you we'll have see. a nice lineup. Yes. So They'll have their legacy here, line. which is so nice. And then we have two other inks that we did with them. Uh, that yes, one is really the Vampire too. Pigeon. Last year in one of our videos, we had Brendan drawing random creatures, and he drew a vampire pigeon and we came up with the idea to turn it into an ink. Do you have a sticker for this as well? Yes, we, yes. Brendan on a bench. Brendan on a bench, <laughs> yes. The vampire pigeon, <laughs> Brendan on a bench sticker. It is a really nice purple ink with uh, shimmer. It took us a while. We actually experimented ourselves. We were taking some wearing gold uh, potion ink and mixing it with all oh, these reds fun, that we had fun. and sent it off to them to say if you can duplicate it. Did. That is so exciting. How long does it take from like start to finish when you're developing an idea? It depends on the brand. So mm -hmm. with Robert, uh, we can do something within a month or two. Oh, that's uh, impressive. He does things in small batches and he's usually really quick to work with. Yeah. Uh, some other brands, it could take six months. We're working wow. on some stuff with uh, Leonardo, with some uh, with Visconti for later in the Scribo, year. I'm waiting for Scribo. Yes, so we've been in discussions <laughs> with them actually, trying to get it into the store. So hopefully sometime in the near future. So we'll exciting. The brand. Uh, but yeah, it just depends. Well, we come up with a ton of ideas. We flush it out with uh, you know our different manufacturers, see who can do something. And uh, usually can make it's it a nice work. creative outlet for oh, yeah. everybody involved, right? Exa yes. So definitely. nice. And what is the third? The last ink? one was a polar vortex. This is the first exclusive ink that we did. Got the idea when it got pretty cold last year mm -hmm. uh, to come up with something that reflected that that scenery in Chicago. So five years ago, we had the polar vortex here that shut down the city for a day when it got to be like negative 50 degrees oh, and uh, it turned it into an ink. So wow. a lot of the stuff that we come up with outside of Vampire Pigeon and Izzy Monster, we try <laughs> to do stuff that's reflective of Chicago, different themes uh, that represent uh, our city that we're incredibly proud to, to be a part of. Your Banu was... Yes, we have a couple. So we have uh, the Gold Coast, if you want to walk Oh, Gold Coast, yes. Uh, Right so our first Banu exclusive was the Gold Coast, which is oh, going to be right there, that's beautiful. which is uh, based on Oak Street Beach, which is just north of us. So you've got the lake and the, the beach there. That is so nice. And, and then the other one was like Millennial. Oh, is that right? Yep. Right so Millennium there? is right there, that lightish white and gray one. Now I got a story from Bryce. Yes. About the darker one. Yes, which is right <laughs> behind it. Yes. So Millennium, uh, we came up with the idea to try to do a Christmas winter themes pen. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted to feature something in Chicago. So we came up with Millennium Park. Yeah. So the grays are supposed to be the the beam down there in Millennium Park, and then the band itself sparkles Beautiful. with a whole bunch of different colors, which is, uh, our idea was the Christmas tree that's in the park there. Oh, that's so nice. So we got the first batch of pens, and it didn't match exactly what the renderings looked like, which came out with, came with that gray. It was a there. little bit darker, Yes, yeah, so it was a yes. darker one. So we ended up, we still love it, that It's that pretty, they're pen. both beautiful. And so they're, they contrast enough, they're different enough, where we uh, decided to keep that gray one and rebrand it as Hollywood's Blank. <laughs> so it's supposed to be, uh, you know, featuring Brendan. That's a nod to Brendan. Yes, For those of you who don't know, his nickname is Hollywood. Yes. Brian's younger brother. Exactly. And yeah, it's it's very fitting, Brian. Oh, I really yeah. like that. Yep. So he was wearing it on his chain <laughs> that first day he got it. So yeah, he was pretty, He's a piece pretty of work. happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to have something representing him. So. so nice. It's really so nice to see a part of Chicago and all that you oh, guys yeah. do and family. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank this you. was really fun. Yeah. I'm sure everyone's going to love to hear the stories and stuff. Glad to uh, to share. So it's our pleasure. Okay. Jasmine is showing us her plotter. 
because I'm intrigued by the plotter hype. This is her beautiful artwork. Oh, look at this. Alex is our appointed page turner. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so good. What do you use for pens? The falcon nib. Oh, and we're gonna bring all the pens oh, out. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, the falcon nib. Do you love it? Yes, I'm obsessed with it. I do not have this. I feel like this nib is so polarizing. Oh yeah. People, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I like the same oh, stuff here. People <laughs> love it. Is this the, the US North exclusive American or North American? American. Yes. And then the UEF. Ooh, that's really beautiful too. Finest nib in the shop. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's an extra fine girl. <laughs> That's a really pretty color Jasmine's too. all over the place with her nibs. yeah. I feel like I don't, I, I, they're like my kids. I love them all for different reasons, exactly. right? Like I like broad yeah. nibs, fine nibs. Definitely. That's beautiful. Your artwork is gorgeous. Thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, and that's Sailor. Yeah. That's so pretty. One of my favorite inks. Is this all the same ink? Yeah. That's wow. Right. You can just like do a wash and it'll give you a bunch of different colors. That's really gorgeous. Oh, I love that. This is a great little station where you can try out pens and play. I love it. Inks underneath. Hello, hello, welcome back. Wasn't that so much fun? I had such a great time. I was really tempted to get a plotter, which I don't need at all. But the way that the staff was showing me how much affection they had for a plotter, I was really getting sucked in, but I was proud of myself for holding back. I think maybe at one of the pen shows, I might invest in a plotter, which is which is a planner, a planner system, I should say. But I'm so inundated with Hobonichi stuff, and as it is, there are a couple planners that I had intended to use at the start of the year that I'm not making the best use of. I should probably do a follow-up video on how my planning is going. They were so kind to show me their their planners, um, their plotters, and Jasmine had such beautiful artwork. She was so much fun. Alex was tremendous. The staff there was phenomenal. The store was beautiful. I have a problem though, and the same thing happens to me when I go thrifting for my other YouTube channel. When I am like working, like filming and thrifting at the same time, or in this case, I was filming and shopping for pen stuff at the same time, I always leave the store and it's like, damn, I should have looked at this. I should have spent more time here. I should have asked questions about this. I should have tried that plant pen. I get so caught up and so excited when I'm in the moment that I often forget stuff. And I feel like that happened a little bit here. So let's get into the haul. Brian was so nice and he ended up giving me as a gift, like when he came out from Outback, he gave me the new Robert Oster store exclusive Izzy Monster, which is named after his daughter. This is a beautiful purple ink with pink shimmer. That was so kind of Brian to give this to me. Um, also while I was there, I already had their Ferris wheel press ink, but I like that it is like an ink that I can use every day, but it has shimmer in it. A little bit of a subtle shimmer, I would say, so that it has like a little pizzazz if you just don't want a boring black. It's a great ink. I really love it. The ink that I was really excited about getting was Twelfth Night, and this is a Wearing Gold store exclusive to Atlas, and it's a beautiful pink. Um, I had my Mont Blanc baby with me when I was traveling. That takes cartridges and I didn't want to bring one of my blunt syringes on the plane because I was afraid that I would be like, you know, thrown up against a wall with my syringe or my bag would be confiscated. People thinking I have like drug paraphernalia. So I didn't think it was worth it. So the downside to that was that I didn't have a cartridge or a syringe and I wanted to use this ink. So I was just dipping it. I wrote like an entire page of journaling with this 12th night ink using my Mont Blanc baby just from dipping it. And I think I dipped it like twice and the ink really stayed in that feed and it's such a beautiful color. So this is a really great store exclusive. I love like dusty pinks that aren't like so bright, more like a neutral or like a brownish pink or a subdued pink. This is really special to me because it is pink and sparkly without being in your face pink, um, which I really appreciate. It's a really beautiful pink. So I was really excited about that. Now I will get into the inks that I bought to go with the pens that I received. So before we left for our trip, Jay had placed an order with Atlas. So I knew he had ordered me some pens. 
and he would not tell me what they were. Last year for Valentine's Day, he got me my first Leonardo. He got me a Fiore Grande in blue Hawaii. And then for our anniversary, he got me the Memento Zero Grande in sand with a gold nib. So he really likes to buy Leonardo's. He told me one of the pens cost $90, so I immediately went to Atlas and I was like scouring through their list of pens. And I'm like, did he get me like a, an, a Kaveco AL? Or did he get me, I think it was like a Conklin. I was like, gosh, those don't seem like anything he would pick me up. Well, he had taken advantage of the Nautilus sale. I had posted it to my stories and he clicked the link and he went ahead and he bought me the travel series, the Cancun, because we were going on our vacation. So I thought that was so incredibly thoughtful of him. You guys know I'm more into like neutral colors, but this was so special and thoughtful for our trip and it was half off. So he got the deal. I got the affiliate credit. I was so proud of him for using my link. I have this beautiful pen to remember our trip. So I was beside myself excited for this because I really wasn't expecting it. What is the technical name of this? Let me see. Okay, so this is the Navalar Voyage Cancun is what it's called and he got it in a medium nib. It's just always gonna be such a special thing for me to remember our trip by. And honestly, so much about pens with me is the association I can have, not with all of my pens, because I buy too many pens to keep up with <laughs> special moments, but sometimes it lines up like this and it is just so very special. It was something I probably would not have picked out for myself, which also makes it really special. And the ink that I bought to go with it and Jasmine helped me with this. She was like a pro with ink. We got Sailor Manyo Yamabuki, and it looks so great. It's kind of like an orangey yellow, almost like sunflower color. This ink just looked beautiful in here, and as you're writing, this has like the chroma shading properties, so some of it looks like golden, and some of it is more orangey, but very legible, which is important to me. I love this ink with that. I ended up getting the Peniter uh, Antici material in Carrera Brown. This pen was created from Peniter with materials that they found that I think were originally intended to make eyeglasses. It's made out of celluloid. It's this gorgeous material and it was right up my alley as far as the color goes. The second pen that Jay bought me was a Leonardo. I don't even know which model it was, but it had that gold yellowish swirl on the body and then a black cap and a black finial. It was nice, but it, it wasn't really in my comfort zone for colors. And I love Leonardo pens. I love that he branched out and he, he went with like a different Leonardo pen, but I wasn't really feeling the color combination. Pens are expensive. Like you really want to love it. So I was able to exchange that and use that towards my Peniter. So I was like, well, now that I have this credit, I will go for it. And I knew they only had one left and it was in a stub nib. I've been eyeing it for months online. It's this stub, like this real flexy stub nib. It's such a soft nib. It's so beautiful. It was celluloid. Had one, one of the most beautiful ink windows I had ever seen. I was in love with this pen. They only had one left. They had just sold the extra fine. This was the only one they had left. So we finally get to the register. Jay is like done, because now I've been shopping. I interviewed Brian. I'm looking at inks. And when Alex rang me in, this pen rang in as 700 and I was like, Ooh, I can't spend $700 on that pen. So they gave me 50% off the original price, which was 1100 So it was 550 which was $100 more than the last chance price when it had been marked down to $894. I have these numbers swirling in my head and I was so flustered and Jay wanted to leave and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna pay for it and leave. The pen is absolutely beautiful. I paid more than I thought. What had happened was it came off of last chance and I'd never seen that happen with a pen before where it was on last chance for a long time and now it was off last chance. So they, it went from 894 to 700, but now it was no longer listed on last chance. Thus, I did not get the 50% off, but then Brian was nice enough to give me 50% off, but it was off the original price. If you're a pen person, you know that you have like laser focus when it comes to a pen and what you're spending and what the budget is and how much the sale was and what you could get for it. I really found that in hindsight, I feel like I'm a better shopper when I'm online because I go through every coupon and I try to like really pinpoint the sales and time everything out, which is why so many of us shop on Black Friday and on Fountain Pen Day and Cyber Monday or whatever the deals are. I just wanted to jump in here. 
while I was editing the video to let you know that I had reached out to Atlas about the Paniter pen and kind of my confusion on the sale. And Brian issued me a credit to the store for $112, which was the difference between the last chance half off price and what I paid. One more reason why Atlas is so incredible, great customer service. And I love my pen even more now. I know I'm being pretty dramatic in this video and I just wanted to make sure that I came on here to say what great customer service they have. That's all, enjoy the rest of the video. It is one of the smoothest writers I own. It is not a twist top. It is a magnet closure. The ink window is so lovely. The celluloid material is so nice. It's very lightweight, but it still feels like a substantial pen. They only made 280 of these. Okay, so I got number seven out of 288 which I think is kind of cool because I feel like, well, I got lucky number seven. The clip is so nice and I don't get into clips. I don't really care about clips because I don't, I usually clip them sometimes to the side of a notebook, but usually I just use it as a roll stop so it doesn't roll off the table. But this is a really flexible, soft, clip it's brown so you guys know i love this color and the swirl is so beautiful they also had this with like black and gray i love this pen oh and the ink that i got to go in it sailor studio 273 also this was something that jasmine helped me with and because it's a stub nib it puts down a lot of ink i think if i even take my time a little bit more i can really flex this pen the nib is just gorgeous and this 273 i've never seen this before and i really love it it reminds me a little bit of oyster hour like a little bit of a darker oyster hour i love it with this pen i've been liking the lighter browns with my pen because i just i just feel like i get a, a more more variation on paper than when i'm using like a really dark brown um, so I'm really enjoying it and it's so beautiful. It was such a great trip to Atlas Stationer. I feel really lucky that I ended up with this pen. It was something that I had given a lot of thought to. It's a beautiful writer, which makes me really happy. There's nothing worse than spending a lot of money on an expensive pen and getting it home and not having it write well right out of the box. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're spending a lot of money on pens. So this is a bit of a grail pen for me. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I just wanted to to share that with you. We had a layover in Newark and we decided to forego our flight to Boston and go see our son who lives in Hoboken and works in Manhattan. It was $110 for us to get a rental car. That would be one way from New York or Newark to Boston, which would have been the cost of our Uber from Boston back home. So we were like, well, let's go see Anthony, duh. We felt like so spontaneous. We left Cancun at 8.30 in the morning and then we arrived in Newark, New Jersey and we were in Manhattan for lunch visiting our son. It was a crazy day and then we drove home at the end of the day. But I went to a stationery store there and I can't remember the name of it. I posted it on Instagram. It's a Japanese bookstore and they have great uh, stationery, Japanese stationery and fountain pens. I did get some really cute stickers because also while I was there boarding my plane to go from Chicago to Cancun, the crazy release of the Platinum Chai Latte was out for pre-sale. I was actually shopping at Atlas Stationery and I missed the entire pre-sale through Atlas because they sold out. And then my good friend Jeffrey, who was a desert inkwell, you guys should follow Jeffrey. Congratulations, Jeffrey. He just hit 100 subscribers on his YouTube channel and he's such a love. He was determined to make sure that I got that pen because he knows that it was like my aesthetic. I love that Shape of Heart pen so much. I have the Shape of Heart in a fine nib, the all black one. Then they came out with the white one and then this one came out and I about died. And of course it was after I had just spent the money on the Paniter and I was like, oh my gosh. And I left my, my belt bag from Lululemon with my wallet and credit card on the flight. It was locked in Chicago we got to our hotel room I'm like Jay I don't have my credit card I don't have my wallet I left my bag on the flight we were boarding to go to Mexico and I was running around the airport talking to lost and found and they found my bag they had taken it off the plane and because we were there for only 24 hours I managed to get it back we unfroze the credit cards because we had frozen all the credit cards and then I went to my business account 
and I ordered that pen. I'm crazy. It was pre-order. I got it through Apple Boom. So I think it was one of the better prices available for that pen. So I'm not sure if it's still available. It doesn't send until March or April. Anyway, I bought these stickers to go with that pen. <laughs> and I bought the field notes to go with that pen because it's like a, it's like a white with like a beigey, beautiful chai latte. It's just gorgeous. And then I tried this campus notebook. I just like having notebooks that I can play around with. I like to try different types of papers. This feels a little like Rhodia paper. It's very smooth to the touch, but I like things that either lie flat or that are wire bound so that I can do a little something for Instagram. These types of notebooks I like to use when I have like the overhead and I'm testing out ink and doing a little something for Instagram and it's not going in a planner per se. So I got this notebook. Oh, and I got a Lamy Safari cartridge uh, converter because I was out of them. They had them for $6. It was like the cheapest thing they had in that store. So I bought that. So that that is my super long-winded story about my trip to Atlas and how I got my Paniter, the drama over the platinum chai that had sold out on pre-sales. Tell me if you were part of all that hysteria. If you ended up getting that pen, I got mine in a medium nib and I'm so excited to get it in. And then I'm on a pen freeze. So unless I have credit or unless I sell something, I'm shutting myself off until June, which is only a couple months. It's not saying too, too much. It is time for me to halt the purchases, but it's been really fun. Let me know what you're writing with these days. If you have something you're reaching for all the time, if you have any experience with the Paniter um, Antici material, I know my friend Claire Coco has the black version of this. Thank you for listening to my chatty chatty video. A huge thank you to Brian over at Atlas for talking to me. He was such a sweetheart and their staff was so fantastic. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content about fountain pens and planning. We have an episode of the Juicy Broads coming out next Monday on the Juicy Broad YouTube channel. Vanessa Langton and I go live every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Texas time. We would love to see you over there. It's a nice opportunity to get to chat with you in a live format. So we'll see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.